This was my skin back in high school and I was not very confident whatsoever in my skin. I don't want the same for you. I want you to be as confident as possible, especially on a budget. If I could take the knowledge that I know about skincare now and apply it to school, I probably would have the skin that I have now in school. I spent so much money on skincare that I didn't need to fix my actual skin concerns. I want you to have healthy skin. I want you to have clear skin. Depending on where you get your skincare products, everything here is $15 or less. We are on a budget, but making sure these products work and your skin is going to love them. First things first is a cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for normal to dry skin but honestly this really suits almost all skin types this is one of my absolute favorite holy grail cleansers this is around 14 dollars depending on where you get it from but it has 12 fluid ounces of product that is huge this has lasted me forever and i'm not the only one who uses this i have oily skin my sister across from me uses it too. She has dry skin and we both absolutely love it. This lather is like a freaking dream. I can't believe that this is just a drugstore considered drugstore product because of how luxurious this actually feels. If you watch my other skincare videos, you know I absolutely rave about this all the time. I think I talked about how I used this in the first few weeks of Different when my skin was extremely sensitive, still adjusting to it. If you don't know what Different is, it is a vitamin A, can make a skin really sensitive and really dry in the beginning stages when it's quote-unquote purging not everybody purges but I purged my skin was just a my skin was a mess I actually use this to double cleanse when I don't feel like using an oil-based cleanser because sometimes you just really don't need to and a lot of people like to stress having 30 different products but you don't need to this is a I say a two-in-one product because you can double cleanse with it and it still doesn't overstrip the skin if you have drier skin maybe that won't work for you maybe you can use an oil-based cleanser but this is overall such a well rounded product I've been using this for months and I am only right here. <laughs> on days where I am wearing my makeup all throughout the day, I have thick makeup, under the makeup I have a bunch of SPF and then maybe I reapplied some spray on SPF, this will take care of removing that no issue. I know everyone likes the daily facial cleanser, the one that's clear, but this is so underrated. I think this is actually a little bit more nourishing, a little bit more hydrating. It's alcohol, fragrance, and essential oil free so you have nothing to worry about if you are more on the sensitive side, if you're sensitive to those ingredients. This also contains three essential ceramides. Ceramides help nourish and protect the skin barrier, preventing any moisture loss. So if you are going into the colder months like I am here in New York, you wanna make sure that your cleanser doesn't strip your skin. The two products that I recommend for more very dry, very sensitive skin is the Oat Cleansing Balm from the Inky List and the Aveeno Calm and Restore for Sensitive Skin Nourishing Oat Cleanser. I think this is a wonderful combination for those who have very dry and very sensitive skin. The Oat Cleansing Balm is $10 and the Aveeno Calm and Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser is how much does it say on my notes this is about eight or nine dollars a lot of cleansers that are for very dry very sensitive skin it doesn't actually remove makeup or any product that you have on if you love a good full coverage makeup but you have sensitive skin very dry skin and just like other cleansers don't work for you this can be a great cleanser but it doesn't remove those products off of your skin and that's why i really recommend starting off with an oil-based cleanser like this oat cleansing balm from the inky list as you can see there is a bit of a theme going on which is they're both oat products and oats are amazing for the skin it's amazing for those who have dry flaky red irritated skin the inky list has three percent oat kernel oil which really helps support the skin moisture barrier and also has one percent colloidal oatmeal which is that ingredient that key ingredient to help calm any inflammation calm down any redness also it has sweet almond and sunflower oil which are very calming and very nourishing for the skin so i definitely love this this is a thicker bomb like consistency very rich and then once you rub it into the skin it really just breaks apart everything one thing i will say is that it does leave a bit of a residue if you don't like that oily residue it's going to come off anyway with following up with a second step cleanser and going into this avino one the avino 
Aquafina one is no problem gonna help you remove more of the residue that maybe the oat cleanser didn't pick up. Neither of these products leave the skin stripped. This Calm and Restore line from Avino is built for those who are very sensitive and who are very dry. This works great alone for morning cleansing, but I suggest that if you have very dry sensitive skin, you can even skip out on that morning cleansing and use maybe a toner, a hydrating toner and a cotton pad to just wipe everything away. You don't necessarily need to cleanse your skin in the morning if you do a thorough cleanse at night. For the moisturizers, I picked two. One for more normal to dry skin types, one for more normal to oily skin types and both sensitive friendly. Starting off, we have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Of course, with all CeraVe products, they have their ceramides in there. It's very thick, it's very rich. That's why it's great for those who have dry skin. Even with my oily skin, I still use this. I think products that are richer are great for colder months to come. So if you live in climates that are bound to get a little bit colder or if you live in colder climates in general, richer and thicker consistencies are going to be very helpful. It creates more of a barrier to help with any moisture loss that could possibly occur during these colder months. This is about $14, $15, which again, CeraVe is great at giving you a lot of product for your money. And this doesn't have fragrance, essential oils, denatured alcohol, so it's a lot safer for you if you have more sensitive skin. It contains hyaluronic acid for a little boost of hydration, hyaluronic acid, is a humectant pulling any moisture from its surroundings into your skin and also it's non-comedogenic so you don't have to worry about any ingredients that could potentially clog your pores this has more of a matte finish it's not dewy or anything like that so if you don't like that look Great. It also has their MVE delivery technology, which controls the release of hydration throughout the day for, I guess, a longer period of hydration throughout your day. For those who have more normal or balanced to oily skin, the e.l.f. nourishing night cream is something that I've spoken about in my, again, early different stages, my different skincare routine. I use this a lot and I use this religiously. This is about $12 and it gives you a pretty good amount of product. I love this because it's very lightweight and it's very hydrating like this is so hydrating people who have dry skin would really like the feeling of this one thing i will say if you do have dry skin is it might not last with the hydration that you might need throughout the day this is great for oily skin because our skin doesn't tend to get too dry so our skin actually moisturizes itself that's why we don't need such a thick heavy duty moisturizer this is denatured alcohol free essential oil free and fragrance free. So if you like the ingredients list of maybe you just like those ceramides from the CeraVe then I do recommend trying out the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion. It's also very lightweight so for those who have oilier skin you might like this one. It has those ceramides that you might be looking for. If you're looking for a more of like a boost or a drench of hydration right off the bat, this e.l.f. moisturizer definitely feels a little bit more luxurious. This one, it kind of just feels pretty generic, but it does the job. For the full size of the daily moisturizing lotion, this is the mini travel size. This is about $13, $14 for a bigger full size. One of my absolute biggest problems in high school was my acne. The inflammation was out of control and I wish I had known about this product when I was in high school. I would have been so much more confident. I remember I couldn't even make eye contact with people because I was so insecure because I was like in my head I was like if I don't see these people maybe they won't like look at me or take the time to look at my skin. This is the different gel. You're probably like, ugh, Elena, you talked about this product a million times before and I will continue to talk about this product a million times more. It was just that helpful for my skin. This is Adapalene 0.1%, which is an acne treatment. A lot of people also use this for anti-aging purposes, but this is the first over-the-counter retinoid that is available over-the-counter. Like amazing. I wish I'd known this back in 2016 because that's when it came out. I want you to be as confident as possible. Something that I wasn't able to do with my skin. I know you can do this. What vitamin A does is that it targets the inflammation in your skin and also prevents any new inflammation, prevents any new breakout. So I documented my first 60 days using different in a video which I will have linked down below, but I made so many more videos even up until my sixth month using different gel. So you can find all of the collective data from my end of things, from my perspective, from my 
journey using Diffrin in the description box down below. I made an entire playlist because it was just that helpful. If you're hesitant on trying an acne treatment because you've had so many failures in the past, this might be the one that could really help you out. So if you are hesitant to buy it, please do your research first because I know a lot of people are like, ah, you know, I don't know if I wanna do that. This took care of my inflammation, my hyperpigmentation, and any little bumps that I had. I had so many closed comedones, which are just like whiteheads all over my face. This can even help with blackheads if you struggle with any. But please wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is extremely, extremely important when you're using a vitamin A. This is probably the best thing that's happened in the skincare market in a really long time, even up until recently, because sometimes these skincare companies come out and I'm just like, oh, like here we go again, another copy and paste, but I wish more products come out that are actually, actually effective for the skin. This is about $13 for this little tube, 12, $13, depending on where you get it from. I had the big bottle, which was around $20. The big bottle lasted me up until six months. So it's definitely an amazing investment. I'm thanking the acne gods for providing this for us. <laughs> Lastly, one of the most important, which I want you, if you don't already, to start doing right now because you are going to thank me when you're like 25 or maybe 45 and be like, hey, that one girl from YouTube told me to do this is to wear sunscreen every single freaking day. Even if you're going to be inside by a window, I mean like if you're inside and blind shut, everything, no sunlight coming in. Maybe you don't have to worry about wearing sunscreen. If you know that you are going to be exposed to sunlight at one point of the day, please make sure you wear your sunscreen and most importantly, you reapply. But we are gonna talk about two sunscreens that I think are great for your budget that are also pretty cosmetically elegant. So this is the Sunbum Face 50, which is SPF 50. This is a chemical sunscreen. They have a mineral version, which is also SPF 50, but it's a little bit different. So let me tell you why. This chemical one is a little bit more cosmetically elegant. doesn't give as much of a white cast. I don't have the other one because I literally was on a wild goose chase trying to look for that in my room, but I can't find it. The chemical one is $13. The mineral one is $15. Mineral sunscreens are typically more suitable for those who have more sensitive skin, those who don't really experience much sensitivity with any product. Chemical ones are gonna be great. Chemical ones are a little bit more, like, like I said, cosmetically elegant, don't really leave that much of a white cast. Mineral sunscreens tend to leave a little bit more of a white cast or a lot more of a white cast. The mineral one here that I'm talking about, it doesn't really leave that much of a white cast. It's pretty light weight don't really experience a stinging with this one it's very light it's very fluid they're both uva and uvb broad spectrum spf of 50. because of this huge spf controversy that happened not too long ago i've been a little bit more picky with what sunscreen i use on my face because some sunscreens out there they actually don't work as well as you think they do even if it has a claim sometimes those claims don't meet what it actually is advertising so if it says spf 50 maybe it only actually Actually gives you like an SPF of 15. Look for SPF that actually has a water resistance rating because that will ensure you a little bit more that this sunscreen is actually legitimate, that'll actually protect you from the harmful rays of the sun. Amazing thing is they are also both water resistant up to 80 minutes. What I like about these is that you can actually layer them. I like layering the chemical one a little bit better because it is more fluid. So this back to school skincare recommendation is definitely kept pretty short. It's very minimal, it's very straight to the point. All the products that I mentioned today, I will have them linked down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.